The mountain of YouTube success is very tough to climb. There are thousands of videos uploaded every day, with many trying to clamor their way to the top. I have been fortunate enough to make one video that has seen very good results. And it's not anything that's new or revolutionary, but so far it has pulled in a quarter of a million views in less than three months. So for my own benefit, and for those of you out there who, like me, are trying to figure out how to climb this mountain, I decided to compare my video with others that succeeded and others that failed. It's not an exact science, but I believe I found some factors that can raise the chances of more people watching your video. First and foremost, you have to get people to stop and click. Now, according to YouTube, 95% of the people who have watched my video were just browsing when they were drawn to it and decided to check it out. The two main things that attract them are the title and the thumbnail preview. So why my video? Making it visually appealing can certainly help. But before I published it, I did a few searches for other similar videos and found that many of them, especially the videos with a lot of views, included the same words. One year piano progress, adult beginner, and self-taught. So the title should include popular words. But I didn't stop there. When people are simply scrolling down a list of videos YouTube recommends, the thumbnails have a better chance of grabbing their attention, so I put some of those words there too. Now I actually thought that one year and adult were a bit vague, so in order to make my video stand out a bit, I decided to put how much time I practiced, as well as my actual age from when I started, 41. And this really seems to have paid off. According to the analytics of my video, almost half of those who watched are in my age bracket, and another 40% are in the bracket above or below. And it's quite clear that my piano video is resonating, no pun intended, with people like me. I'm not saying you should list your age for your videos, but I believe that if you can find a way to connect with people in the title or thumbnail, if you can somehow strike a chord with them, pun intended this time, then they'll be more likely to click on it. My strategy worked. But let's compare this with other Piano Progress videos and see if my suspicions are correct. There are a decent number out there, and here are a few. First, these videos don't even show the people's faces. Now how can we connect with this person if we can't see who they are? Do you have to show your face? Not necessarily. There are a couple of successful Piano Progress videos that don't show the person playing, but most of the ones I found where we can't see their face don't have a lot of views. Also, 850 hours. Kudos to you for practicing so much, but for me and a lot of other people, we can't commit to two hours of practice a day, so pass. Now for these two, we can see who's playing, but there's nothing else on the thumbnail that says we should click on their video over someone else's. This lady's got a decent number of views. I actually checked out her video, and she says she was a complete beginner, which makes her progress all the more impressive. But maybe she could get more views if she shows that in the thumbnail or title. Now I want to show you this one because it was posted about the same time as mine. However, we don't know his age, how much time he practiced each day, and for anyone else learning to play piano, one year of practice is easier to achieve than three. I'm just speculating, but I think that's what has helped my video pull almost 10 times the views as his in the same amount of time. These videos are what I would call successful. For three of them, we can see who's playing. And this guy even shows the before and after shots to give it a bit more of a hook. This one hasn't done quite as well as the others. The thumbnail is a bit appealing, though it doesn't say much. But when you look at the title, however, it says less than an hour a day, which more people would think to themselves, yeah, I could do that, and maybe that helped. This one doesn't show us who's playing, but it shows which notes the hands play and the keys lighting up when pressed, so it really stands out. He does say his age in the title, and we can also see he practiced about an hour a day, which, again, people can relate with. Now this one at the bottom is not at all attractive, but truth be told, this was the first piano video that I watched when I started, and the reason I did was because this guy's age was so close to mine. So I felt a personal connection with him, and I clicked on his video. So again, if you can find a way to connect with more of the audience, then more people will want to watch. But once people have clicked on your video, the next determining factor in YouTube's algorithm is how many people keep watching your video, especially the first 30 seconds. If more stick around to keep watching your video, then YouTube will recommend it more often, more people click on it, and hopefully the cycle continues. My video's retention rate of 63% for the first 30 seconds is more than average, which is good. To connect with the viewers, I use the first 20 seconds to let them read a quick background story about why I started. Now, some people don't stick around, but that's their loss 
And remember, you can't make everyone happy. Now, these three videos seem good enough to click on. However, these two guys talk for almost the first two minutes, and this lady has you read her introduction for a minute and ten seconds. Plus, she says she believes people should include the entire song. Okay, but her video is over an hour long. A sad fact of the reality is that a lot of people watching YouTube these days don't have the patience to listen to someone talk for so long or to watch a beginner play the piano for over an hour. Side note, in case you didn't notice, the unattractive video that's so popular is less than three minutes long. Impatient people will stop your video short, YouTube will think your video's not good, and your video won't get recommended. It is tricky to keep people interested, but it is very important. So consider your content and target audience when making your videos, and be sure you're doing what's needed to keep their attention. I hope I've been able to give you some ideas to get more clicks on your videos. My channel is about travel and life in Japan, plus hobbies that I learn, like piano, or try out with other people. Now if that interests you, please check it out, or better yet, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Matane.